Your goal today is to complete this worksheet with me together um, and I'm going to show you how to go a bit about doing that. Uh, I'm going to move fairly quickly so you might have to pause the video and back it up and continue moving forward. So with one point perspective we always just have one point. We're going to do this box first. So when we are working with perspective we only want to draw guidelines. Those are the dotted lines or the dashed lines that we draw from the vanishing point to the corner only if they are not going through the box. So if I were to align my ruler up or my straight edge, so if you don't have a ruler, you can use something that would have a straight edge to it. And I would line the corner up with my vanishing point. And if that line is not going through the box, in which I'm making 3D, then I am going to want to put a guideline there. So any kind of straight edge will work. Um, I have a ruler, so I'm going to use my ruler. I also have this corner, which is not going through the box. So I'm going to draw a guideline. And the guidelines are dashed lines, and the reason they are dashed lines is because they're not permanent. They are erasable until we make them permanent. I'm going to take a look at this corner. If I look at this corner and I put my ruler in that corner and on the vanishing point, you're going to notice that I'm going to draw through the, the shape. So therefore, I don't want to do that line. And the same thing is true for this one. Now we have a box that's going back forever and ever and ever. Now in perspective, these two lines are considered parallel lines, just like a railroad track that if we were on a railroad track, and this is where the track that the train would travel on, it's going, if they are the equal distance apart, and it looks like it disappears, but if we were to walk down that railroad track, these lines would actually not touch. So in perspective, these are parallel lines, considered parallel lines. So our next step is to end our box so it's not going on. Right now it looks like it's this massive block that's just going on forever and ever. We want to end it. I want you to notice that this line and this line on the sides of this shape are both parallel. They're both going in the exact same direction. They're not going like this. They're going in the exact same direction. Well, if these two lines are going in the exact same direction, the line that we are going to draw between these two guidelines has to go in the same direction as this line here. So I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to line it up with that line or my straight edge and I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to decide where I want that box to stop and then I'm going to draw a line from one guideline to the next. I can then make this solid and this will get erased because these are lines that we no longer need. And now we have our first shape in perspective. We're going to do this box next. So this is box number one, box number two. Same thing. Let's take a look at corners. Are we going to draw this corner going to here? If you answered no, you are correct. Are we going to draw this one from here? We are not going through the shape, so that would be a yes. So I'm going to line that up. I'm always making sure my ruler is on the corner, hitting the corner of my shape and also aligned with the vanishing point. Over, same thing over here. So my corner of my shape is on the ruler, my vanishing point is on the ruler, and I'm drawing a line connecting the two together. Am I going to see this one? Nope, this has me drawing through the, sh through the shape, so the answer is no. Just like we did with this one, this box is now looking like it's going on forever and ever and ever. We're going to end it, so I'm going to line my ruler up with this edge. I'm going to very gradually bring it down to where I want it to stop. I'm going to draw a line, solid line, in between the two guidelines. I can then make this solid, and I can make this solid, and I'm going to erase here. Now what I want you to understand is that if we had a horizon line in here, if I were to go ahead and put in a horizon line, this would be the sky, this would be the ground. This is sitting on the ground, 
and this is up in the air. So notice that we're seeing the bottom. So where this is placed on your paper and compared to the vanishing point is, is kind of important as to, <coughs> excuse me, what sides of the shapes that you are seeing. Let's do this one as number three. This one gets a little more complicated because we're going to see a couple different sides. And if you guessed, we're going to see this side here and we're going to see this side here. So again, look at my corners. Which ones am I going to draw to the vanishing point without going through this particular shape right here, this rectangular shape? So I'm going to start from this corner. Now, I do not want to draw on top of this box, so I'm just going to stop right there. I'm going to go this one, and again, I'm just going to stop. And this one, I'm lining up corner to my vanishing point, and I'm going to stop. I know that if I could draw these all the way down, but I also know that this box is not is going to end here somewhere. It's not going to end way back here. So I only need to draw my guidelines as far as I think I'm going to need them. So to end the box, this line is parallel with this line, just like we did show up did down here. So we need to make the line that ends this the same as this one. So put my ruler up against the line bring it back, draw a vertical line. This line should be matching this line, which is matching this line. I'm going to put in a solid line and then I'm going to make my ruler look like it's going in the exact same direction as this bottom line because this is parallel to this, which should be parallel to your ruler. And I'm going to draw a line going across. Now I know that I'm working fast but you can pause the video and you can play the video and rewind and pause and play as many times as you need to. So we have shape one, two, three. Let's do shape number four. Are we going to see a line from here to the vanishing point? I hope you're saying no because no we are not but we will see this one is very similar to this one except that we are seeing it from an opposite side and we'll talk about that in just a minute so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all the guidelines in I'm going to stop I don't want to draw on top of this box so I'm going to stop again if this line matches this line. They are two parallel lines going in the exact same direction. The box has to end. This line that goes in between this and this has to match go in the same direction as this line right here. So I'm going to take my ruler, line it up. I'm going to very carefully make sure that it stays nice and straight. Nice straight line. I'm stopping at the guidelines. I can make this solid and I can make this solid. I can then make sure that my ruler is lined up looking like it's going in the same direction as these two lines right here and draw across and connect. Notice how I'm using my ruler when I do that. I can erase any of these other lines that I no longer need. Now let's take a look at box number three and box number four. Notice that this rectangle is up and to the right. Because it's to the right, we're seeing the bottom and the left hand side. Notice this one is on the left, to the left of the vanishing point. Therefore, we're seeing the bottom and the right hand side. So as you can see, where your boxes are in location to your vanishing point will change what point of view and how you see that box. Let's go in and let's do this box here. Now this is going to look like it's going to draw on top of these boxes so we're only going to have it go just a little bit. So line up your ruler, go back, I'm going to stop. go back and stop. I know that those are going to go back to the vanishing point because I line them up to make sure that they're going to do that. 
So now this line is parallel to this line. We need to end the box the same way. Bring this over. Draw your line solid and erase. <coughs> I got a little frog in my throat today. Ribbit, ribbit. Um, so anyway, now we're going to work on this. We're going to make box number six and we're going to make this go to the vanishing point. And if you've already figured out that this box is going to look just like this box and this box and how we're going to see just one side of it, you are correct. So lining up the corner to the vanishing point. And again, I know I'm going quickly. Take the time, pause the video when you need to. Line your ruler up with the edge. Bring it over. Where is it going to stop? Solid line, solid line. Erase the lines you no longer need. Okay? Now, these three are the trickier ones. I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to do the circle. Okay? So, again, looking at my corners, am I going to see... If I line this corner up and my vanishing point, I will be drawing through my shape, so I do not want that one. I will not be drawing through my shape here, so I'm going to do, and I'm not going to go all the way back, I might just go just a little bit. Same thing here. We know this is going to go back. Let's check this one out. Are we going to see this one? This one's kind of a little iffy. I'm not so sure. So if I do this, ooh, look at that. I am not drawing on top of that box. It's going to be a sliver, just a tiny, tiny little space right there. Let's end this top box here. If this, these two are going in the same direction, how I end this box has to go in the same direction. So I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to line this up with this line right here. I'm going to gradually slide it back, making sure my ruler doesn't shift. Keep your ruler nice, going this nice and straight, just like this line here. Bring it back. I'm going just to between those two guidelines. I'm not going past those two guidelines. Now I'm going to put my pencil here. Here's a little trick. These two are parallel, so this line has to be parallel to the line I draw between this corner and this guideline has to be the same as these two. So I'm going to put my pencil on this corner. I'm going to line my ruler up with that edge of my box and I'm going to slide it back till it hits my pencil. It's going to be a tiny, tiny little sliver. Do you see that edge of the box? That's how you do that one. And actually I changed my mind. I'm going to show you this curve first before I do this one because this one's really complex. So this is 7, 8, and 9. So when you're doing curves, you have no points to work off of. So you're going to work off of the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pencil on my vanishing point. I'm going to put my ruler onto the, touching the pencil, and I'm going to swing my ruler in until I come to the end, to the very edge. I don't want to go past the edge. I just want it to touch the shape. That is where my guideline is going to go back. If I were to put my pencil here and I were to swing my ruler in to the edge to touch, I would stop right at the edge of my circle there, the edge of the curve, and I'm going to draw that edge. So the edges become kind of my corners. Now we talked about parallel lines. We talked about how this is parallel to this, which is parallel to this. Well, in curves, you still have parallel lines, except instead of having a straight line, you have a curved line. So if my curved line looks like this, then I need to end this curved line the same way. So I'm going to repeat that curve, only slightly smaller. Connect and erase. Okay, that's how you do the curve. Now, this one, this final one is a little more complex. Let's go in 
and let's do all of, I'm going to do all of my guidelines from each of my corners. And I'm going to draw, going back, notice I'm putting in dotted lines. If I do this one, I'm drawing through the shape, so I'm not going to do that one. Same here, not going to do that one. Not, I'm going to draw through, draw through. I'm not going to see that one. Let's see here. Oh, I might see a little bit. I'm not going to see anything there. And I'm going to see a little something here. Now, we have all of these angles, right? So let's start at this top. Okay, let's start at the top one because that's the easiest one to do. I need to make sure that the line I put between this, this guideline and this guideline is the same as this. So I'm going to line up my ruler with this edge. I'm going to gradually come back and I am going to draw a line from this guideline to this guideline and then stop. Okay. This side, the line I draw from this corner to this has to match this one here. So now I'm going to go down and I'm going to line this up and I'm going to bring my ruler back until it comes to the corner, this back corner that I just drew. And this is going to come down until it hits the next guideline. And I'm going to make that solid. Now I'm going to work with this corner here. So I'm going to put my ruler here and I'm going to line it up and I'm going to go back and I am going to draw across to the next guideline and make that solid. Now I want to show you something. Do you see over here? If I were to draw this straight across, this the line would end here. But because it's too far back, this is actually just going to end up being a solid line because this line is we can't see it. It's way back here. It's hidden. So now I have this corner. So I'm going to put my ruler along this edge. I'm going to slowly come back till I hit that corner and come down. Make this a solid line. And because this is way back here, this is going to become a solid line as well. So um, these are definitely seven, eight, nine. These are your tougher shapes. I hope you were able to get one through six completed correctly. Try seven, eight, nine. Um, again, follow the video and go back, pause, and just do the best you can and get as much done as you can. You'll be submitting this um, for a grade.